about a year ago, I released a video about the ZO CRM wizards. And since then, I got lots of requests from the audience to create a follow-up video of how to use the ZO CRM wizards in real life environment. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. In this session, I'm going to simulate a salesperson working in an enterprise company, trying to retrieve information from a lead that is over the phone. Some of the information that the salesperson is supposed to retrieve is based on what the company is dictating him to read, basically some kind of a call center script and some of it will be questions that is supposed to ask during this phone conversation. I am going to have this session as a follow-up session to the previous one. So I'm not going to teach you all the way of how to use wizards. You can go to my previous video of how to use the wizards. Right now we are picking up from the same place that we stopped last time. So I'm going to the uh, wizards and I'm going to create a new one that will be, let's say, the intake form to the lead system. I am going to create in screen number one uh, a screen and let's call it uh, basic details. I'm going to ask uh, the first name. I'm going to ask for the last name and the phone number. Let's say that those are the basics. but in some cases, if the company is a big company that is a traded company with a ticker symbol, I will probably like to ask for more questions. And in this case, I will grab the stock symbol. And if the stock symbol exists, then I will probably like to ask also for the account name. Okay. So those details on the left side will be asked in any case, but if the stock symbol exists, I will also ask for the account name. I am going also to create a new button and the button will be name next. And whenever I'm clicking on next, it will take me to the next page in the series of the wizard. And let's click on that. I am going to double click again, create the next screen. And let's say that will be marketing details. And here I will need to ask for, let's say the website and um, the lead source. Those will be the next field that I want to ask. So right now we have screen number one for the basic details, screen number two for the uh, marketing details. I am going to create here another button named save and I am selecting here that this record will be saved once I am clicking on this button. Okay, so let's see how this uh, basic uh, wizard looks like and we will continue to improve it. And I am going to create a new lead and I am going to select my wizard from here. Okay, so right now all the details exist. So I have here the first name, I have here the last name, I have here the phone number, I have here the ticker symbol and the account also shows here. Okay, so right now, as you can see, all the fields exist and this is not really what I wanted. I wanted when the ticker symbol exists only then to show the account name. This is an improvement that Zo released not too long ago. And here on the top, you can see that I have the setup condition rules. And on the right side, when I will click on the condition rules, I can say that if the ticker symbol is not empty, only then to show the account name and also make the account name as mandatory. And let's see how that goes. So now I will refresh the wizard and as you can see here, the account name is not existing. Only when I will have here some kind of a ticker symbol, the account name will be there and it's also mandatory. Now I also like to have another button here that when I click on it, it will take me to Yahoo Finance 
and it will show me the details about the company. And that's what we're going to do right now. We are going back to our wizard. I am going to create another button. So one button was a regular button and that was that. And now we are going with a custom button. Now the custom button, let's click on plus custom button. And that will be ticker press. The options that I will have will be invoking custom functions and those will be deluge functions and in February 2022 we're starting a deluge course if you want to learn. So this is one. Next we also can invoke URLs or open web tabs that you already have in your CRM. We are going, going to invoke a URL. I am going to copy this URL and the ticker symbol is the last three characters that are existing here and those will be replaced automatically by the system. Okay, so I will have here the URL. I am going to delete those and I am going to inject the ticker symbol at the end of this URL. And again, I, I really tried to look for a very simple uh, example so you can see the abilities and the possibilities that you will have with the wizard. Okay, and now let's click on done. So let's go here again. Let's refresh the wizard. And you will see on the bottom that I have a ticker price button. If I will have here the name of the ticker, and then I will click on ticker price, it will take me and it will create the correct URL and show me the correct company on Yahoo Finance. Now, those examples can go to maps, can go to lots of crazy things. There are also abilities in the, uh, in the wizards to integrate widgets. And the widget can open a window inside Zoho with a third party application and you can interact with your ERP, with any third party system inside of Zoho. And we had lots of cool projects doing that. So it's very, very cool. So this is really what you can do here. Now, more things that are relatively new. If you click on a button, you can change, first of all, who will see it. And you can see that you can say everybody will see it all the time or it will be shown or hide only in specific cases. For example, you cannot uh, click on next if the first name is empty or the last name is empty. So basically you're forcing your team to enter the information in the right way. So it's similar to a blueprint, but it's not really a blueprint. So you can see that I don't have the next button here. Only when those two will be here, then the next button appears. Okay. Now, more things that you can do, you can change a little bit the styling of the buttons. So let's say that I like to have a red rounded button. I will click on the style. I will go to rounded red and now it's changing. You don't have lots of design abilities, but I think it's cool enough. Uh, that you can change it. You can also have different automatic actions when you click on the button. For example, next, you can have your email notifications, which means sending email templates to your clients, your team members, whoever you want. You can also invoke a third party webhook, such as dropping a voicemail. And you can also run deluge functions in the background, which for, for us as a company, this is probably the biggest part of the work, writing custom code to uh, create more functionality to the CRM. So this is really what I wanted to show you in this session. I think the wizards can be an awesome tool when you want to ease the pain of your employees to grab information from the audience and your clients. So it's making things a little bit easier. You can also use the wizards when you're creating a new deal, 
when you have lots of information, you can slice it to step-by-step -step, uh, approach. So that's it. That's the session. I hope that you like our first 2022 sessions on YouTube. If you like the session, thumbs up is always appreciated. In the description, I also left some links in case that you like to have more functionality on your CRM. I will see you in the next session.